To speak the name Rama is to vocalize the eternal, blissful self whose quality is loving compassion. The Sanskrit word for Rama means darkness and night. I'm Ngāti Poro from the East Cape. I'm also Swedish, English and Irish. And I've been inspired with these two landscapes here by the Ngaitahu sacred Maunga Auraki, Mount Cook. My Tahu traced their lineage back to Tahu Portiki, who was the younger brother of Pororangi, who was one of the great ancestors of Ngāti Poro. They're made from uh, moulded fibreglass, which is a really interesting texture. It's um, gnarled like old concrete. And it's both of these pieces seemed to draw out the rugged, rocky landscape of Aoraki Mount Cook. In Hinduism, Rama and Krishna, which is what inspired that piece, are two different names for the same essence. They're both incarnations of Vishnu, which is the preserving force in the universe. Auraki Mount Cook has sacred geometric designs in gold hovering above it in the night sky. These designs are the flower of life pattern, which is a very ancient primordial geometric pattern that's, kind, that's outside of culture itself. All around the world, the same pattern has been discovered from ancient cultures. Uh, it's mathematical. Every one of those civilizations gave it the same name, the flower of life. When I created this piece, I was imagining the sacred geometry from the night sky speaking the name Rama. The god Rama is all compassionate and cares for all living beings. His entire life story illustrates how to live a righteous path. And in some texts, he's even the non-dualistic supreme being or the eternal blissful spiritual self, also known as the Atman or the awareness. As a great Ngaitahu ancestor embodied in the mountain, Aoraki provides a connection between the supernatural and the natural worlds. The highest places on earth act as that conduit between the two realms.